In this video, we are going to go through the font editor. The font editor is only available in Chroma Lux. With our font editor, we can go into tools, font editor, and we can import DST files that we may have purchased from online. As long as we have a collection of DST files in letter format, we can bring them into our font editor to be able to use them in the text tool going forward. We can also edit any true type font and save it in our font editor. Let's click new and type out the name that you would like for your font. We have the option to initialize from a true type font or stitch designs. Let's choose stitch designs and then we will be prompted to find the folder. Click OK. Click OK. And then we will see all of our letters appear. Now to import our letters, we need to right click, import, and we will be able to select our letters. We do have to go through each one and import them individually. Once they are imported, we will be able to use this font easily using our text tool. To double click, we can edit each letter. We should make sure that the size is consistent we can hide our font editor window and change any settings we would like in our upper right hand corner box. Once you have the letter changed to how you would like, be sure to click the save icon or type control S on your keypad. Once you have all letters saved and edited to your liking, We can then press save in our font editor window. Now, when I open a new page, I can click the text tool and I can type out what I would like and then go into my text box and find my font. Here it is. So now that I have my font, we will see all of the letters type out exactly how I adjusted them. You can see that since I made the A much larger, it appears much larger on my screen. I can always go back into my font editor to further edit my letters. If I need the B to be much larger, I can easily increase the size or I can even change the entire shape of the letter. We will select the letter, we will right click, Oops. we will select the letter and then select our shape tool and we can then, then edit our angle lines or our outlines. Once I edit my letter, I can save the changes and we will see it appear that way the next time I use it. We can also use our font editor to edit any true type font. If we click new, we can bring in any true type font.
and make the necessary edits to each letter so that next time we use it, it will be ready to go and we don't have to do any editing. When we open up a true type font, we do need to convert the letter into stitches. And to do so, we will select the outline, right click and convert it into the stitch type we would like. From there, we may need to do additional editing, changing the angle lines, split lines or outlines. We can also change the density in our upper right hand corner box. Once each letter is set how you would like, be sure to save it. We can also choose any stitch type we would like. So if you want this to end up in a run stitch, choose run stitch and it will appear that way when we type it out. Now that I have my true type font saved, I can open a new window and we can see my beach font appear exactly how I set it up. Thank you for watching and leave us a comment or question below.